Hello, everybody. My name is Full of Vermin, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we left off, Indigo. Whoa, I was going to say Indigo. Last time we left off, V was too strong again. V nods slowly. He's ready. Once you enter this door, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go forth. You ready, V? V is ready. <laughs> Oh! Oh shit, they're doing things different. It's different than I, what I remember. I thought it was the same guys from, like, the first game. Whatever, V. I should have read all that. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic type Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Leap 4. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Oh, uh, we will see about that. Bruce Willis. Actually, it's just Will. I don't care. Zatu, huh? Funny that. See, I just got done reading my Butterfree to Psychic Type manual, and it says here that Butterfree has the ability to totally wipe the floor with all of you. And considering V is just V... There's no way anyone can survive. <laughs> ah, this joke has gone way too far. Wait, why do you have two Zatus? There's so many psychic type Pokemon that you can shoot. Oh, wait, right, it's only Generation 2. Completely forgot there weren't a lot of psychic types back then. No, wait, that's not true. There's fucking Mr. Mime and everything. You are just not having a good day, are you? You know what? New challenge. V takes down the entire Pokemon League. Because, you know what? That's just how I'm feeling right now. Why didn't you use Alakazam? Of all Pokemon you could have chosen. We psychics don't give up even when we're down to the last Pokemon. That's what makes us so formidable. This is what I think of your last Pokemon. V does not care. I can't believe it. Neither can I. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Who is it, Bruno? Bruno Mars? Oh no! Oh wait, what? Fwahaha! I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows. A ninja! My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion? Sleep? Poison? Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Fwahahahaha! Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Or, old man, maybe you'll see that you should... Whoa, where'd you go? Up there he is. Or maybe you'll see that V is just too strong. V doesn't even need his ultimate power to defeat you. He's not even using Psychic. He's using Psybeam. That's not even the strongest Psychic attack. He could be way worse. I'm sure the Carbos may have upped his speed, though. <laughs> that or his incredible level. I'm so unfair! That's not fair! They can't even lay a hit on you! Ah, shut up. They couldn't lay a hit on me anyway. No, I'm just kidding. I just thought I'd give you guys a final conclusion to how this series would most likely end. So that's what I'm doing. And to prove that V is, in fact, the god we love, I will only use V for the Elite Four. Final last words. Let's hope they really aren't my final last words. No, it, no, I shouldn't say that. V is the all-powerful Butterfree that we all need. There's no way you can lose. 
Thank you for putting there, those there, though V is still unharmed. That could have been your opportunity to actually lay a hit on him. However, you used it to lay down some spikes. So, there's where you messed up first. Wait, who's the Pokemon Master? Oh, it's Lance, isn't it? Whatever, V can take him down too. V's not afraid of anybody. V's not even afraid of himself. He looks in the mirror and he's just like, Hey, handsome, how you doing? And the mirror goes, Hey, sugar, how you doing? Give me a popsicle. He's like, whoa. And then, then he remembers that he has many V clones and he's just like, Oh, never mind. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Bruno! Yeah! I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always trained with extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became stronger. Can you withstand our power? I see no fear in you. You look determined. Prepare perfect for a battle. Ready, booty? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha-ha! Ha-cha! Hoo-ha! hoo ha hoo ha hoo See, you already screwed up. I'm sorry, but once V reaches his final potential, there's just no defeating him. This would be more entertaining if Olivia were here. Well, you know what? I don't care. The series had to be ended. It had to be finished. I might go back and finish Call of Duty World at War as well. Just so I can make a conclusion to every Let's Play that I've done on my channel. Like this one. By Jackie Chan. Is there no Pokemon that can stand up to the power of V? Anything, anything at all, I'll take it. Fight as hard as you can until you faint. Uh, are you saying that to me or to your Pokemon? Because that's now. Why? How could we lose? Because you decided to face a demigod. I'm sorry, a god. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. I always thought it, found it weird. In the first game, whenever you, whenever you did that and beat him, he always faced away from you. Like, seriously, man? You don't want to talk to me or anything like that? Whoa, this is new. Hang on, wait a minute. What's going on here? Does Bug Buzz need... You know what? Okay. I am Karen of the Elite Four. Your booty? How amusing. I love Dark-type Pokemon. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Why is every po every Elite Four leader here weak against V? Butterfree could destroy... Okay. <laughs> I guess I have no choice. I have to unleash hell upon all of them for choosing such poor Pokemon. Especially against V. You know, VV. Just so everybody knows, 
I know, this isn't very entertaining because you're watching me use a level 100 Butterfree to defeat the Elite Four. I get it, I know. It's not the most entertaining, but that's the joke. This is probably the longest running joke on my channel, is the fact that we have an overpowered Butterfree out of all the other Pokemon that we have in the games. Why is that in their team? It's not even a dark type. Get on my level. Butterfree's just basically unleashing a mixtape on everybody because of Bug Buzz. That's not even a dark type either. I mean, I guess it's close, but still. Were you even trying? Were you really even trying? Well, aren't you good? I like you in a trainer. I like you. Just stop there. Strong Pokemon. Weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on. The champion is waiting. You know what's funny? This isn't even the final episode. You know why? because we still got one challenger left to face. One that might actually prove to be a challenge to me. That's right. I am talking about Red. We are fighting Red as the last step zone. We're gonna skip Kanto's gems and just go straight to Red, if I can. I've been waiting for you. Booty, I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. This is the last challenge you will ever accept. V is a very vengeful god. Sorry, you're not even going to show the animation of the stuff dropping now? Okay. Oh, shit! It's a real battle now. Or at least now they're able to actually hit him. First blood. <laughs> I had to wait until the final guy to get any first blood on him. Now ah, you know what? Why the fuck not? I'm going to I'm going to humor everything that I can right now. And look, he's confused now. V does not give a shit. He will avoid all of your attacks and then throw it right back at you. Double strength. You think you're powerful just because you got dragons? I'm sorry, Lance, but I have to correct you on all of your mistakes now. Your Pokemon may only survive two hits. Charizard? Eh. Ow. Alright, well, it looks like V might actually take some damage, but you know what? V is an almighty god. He'll humor his prey and allow them to take, to get one blow on him before finally coming in and kicking ass. Because that's just who V is. Oh, now it's looking like trouble for V. V, I command you, do not sacrifice yourself like you did and leave green.
Why did I do that? Doesn't matter. Still not afraid. V will still take you down. Nope, V died. Nah, it's fine. The joke is getting old anyway. He didn't die, he's just taking vacation. Go Skype. See, now we're on evil, equal terms. V was clearly getting too tired, so therefore, he threw in the towel just to give everyone else a turn. He thought everyone else had to add some fun. That's why he died. Uh... Okay. Are you going to come quietly? Or am I going to have to force you? Because quite frankly, I can go either way. Why do you have three Dragonites? Seriously, dude? A little bit of overkill. Oh, well, it's time to end this episode. So leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe and comment for a minute. You know what? Screw it. A bit of an extended episode won't kill anybody. In fact, we're at the end. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> you are poisoned. Now what are you going to do? Oh, look, Confuse Ray. You might kill Midi. Sounds like Chlamydia sometimes. You dungleberry. Using items. Alright, so it's clear this is going to drag on. So leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe and come for Minion today. I'll see you all in the next episode of what I make. Stay out to my friends. I've been a saying.